Austrian defense company Schiebel has taken a decisive step into the realm of offensive unmanned aviation with the unveiling of two new vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, the Camcopter S-101 and S-301. These platforms mark a significant evolution in the firm's unmanned air system portfolio, moving beyond reconnaissance and surveillance roles and into the domain of purpose-built strike drones designed to deliver firepower on the modern battlefield. For a company long associated with its widely deployed S-100, this announcement represents not only an expansion of capabilities but also a response to shifting defense requirements and geopolitical challenges that increasingly demand compact, lethal, and adaptable unmanned systems. The creation of Schiebel Defense GmbH, a dedicated subsidiary established to focus exclusively on combat drone development, signals how seriously the Austrian manufacturer views this transition. It is more than a product release, it is a declaration of intent to compete in a growing market segment where rotary wing drones are expected to play an increasingly important role. The S-101 and S-301 are being presented as fully re-engineered aircraft rather than incremental upgrades, embodying a design philosophy centered around offensive application. In contrast to earlier models that could be armed if necessary, these new drones have been conceived from the outset as strike platforms intended to integrate seamlessly with existing guided munitions and weapon systems already in service with militaries around the world. According to Schiebel, both drones incorporate a blend of military-grade systems integration, robust architectural design, and embedded artificial intelligence that sets them apart from predecessors. Their most notable capability lies in resilience under electronic warfare conditions. In operational theaters where communications interference, GPS jamming, and electromagnetic contestation are now common, survivability of command and control links is critical. The S-101 and S-301 have been engineered with this reality in mind, positioning them as reliable tools even in highly contested environments where conventional UAVs might struggle to function. This focus on hardened electronic resilience illustrates how the drone industry has adapted to lessons learned in conflicts where electronic warfare has emerged as a decisive factor. The two new drones expand on the legacy of the Camcopter S-100, which has served naval and ground forces across multiple nations for years. The S-100 demonstrated the value of VTOL systems that require minimal infrastructure, can operate from ships or remote bases, and offer long-endurance surveillance capability. Yet the S-100 was not designed as a dedicated combat system. The introduction of the S-101 and S-301 changes that equation, offering militaries a rotary wing strike capability that can loiter, observe, and engage with precision weapons while maintaining the operational flexibility VTOL platforms are known for. For armed forces seeking mobile and adaptable strike options without exposing manned aircraft or relying exclusively on fixed-wing UAVs, Schiebel's latest offerings represent a new category of asset. This development comes at a time when global interest in combat drones has surged. Asymmetric warfare, the proliferation of cheap loitering munitions, and the vulnerability of manned systems have all driven militaries to seek unmanned alternatives capable of conducting precision strikes. In many ways, the S-101 and S-301 embody a broader shift in how drones are employed. Rather than serving only as eyes in the sky, they are now expected to play direct roles in combat, delivering ordnance against targets while maintaining persistence over contested zones. For Austria's Schiebel, entering this domain places it within a select circle of manufacturers actively shaping the future of tactical strike drones. Although detailed specifications remain undisclosed, Schiebel has indicated that both platforms will be compatible with existing missile and rocket systems already in military inventories. This approach ensures interoperability and minimizes logistical hurdles for potential customers. It also suggests that the aircraft can adapt to different mission profiles, 
from naval deployments aboard warships to operations from temporary airstrips or forward operating bases in austere environments. Such versatility is increasingly valuable as militaries demand systems that can transition seamlessly across domains and support joint operations. Hans George Schiebel, chairman of the Schiebel Group, has emphasized that the establishment of the new subsidiary and the launch of the armed camcopter platforms reflect the company's dedication to providing militaries with reliable, mission ready systems capable of meeting modern operational challenges. His remarks underscore the sense that Schiebel is positioning itself not only as a producer of surveillance drones but as a provider of fully weaponized solutions that deliver persistent and distributed lethality. The phrase highlights the strategic advantage these drones aim to offer, the ability to disperse firepower across multiple platforms, complicating an adversary's defenses while reducing reliance on a limited number of expensive manned assets. The announcement of the S-101 and S-301 also reflects broader industry trends. The drone market has been evolving rapidly, with a clear shift toward rotary-wing strike drones capable of vertical operations. While fixed-wing UAVs have long dominated the armed drone sector, rotary systems are increasingly recognized for their unique advantages. They can hover, operate in confined spaces, and launch without runways, making them particularly suited for naval missions or operations in dense urban terrain. By bringing weaponization to the camcopter line, Schiebel is not only adapting to these trends but also carving out a competitive position within a growing niche of the defense sector. At the same time, the move highlights the lessons learned from ongoing conflicts where unmanned systems have been both decisive and vulnerable. The rise of inexpensive kamikaze drones has changed how militaries think about force protection, and conventional vehicles and manned aircraft have been exposed to new risks from small, expendable UAVs. Against this backdrop, systems like the S-101 and S-301 offer a different approach, reusable, adaptable platforms capable of striking from distance and sustaining operations without risking human crews. In this sense, Schiebel's entry into the strike drone market aligns with the urgent operational needs that have emerged from contemporary battlefields. Industry observers are watching closely to see how these new aircraft will be adopted and by whom. Given Schiebel's established relationships with naval forces and its proven record of supplying the S-100 worldwide, there is strong potential for existing customers to consider the S-101 and S-301 as natural extensions of their current fleets. Their integration into shipborne operations in particular may prove attractive, offering surface vessels a compact and flexible strike capability without requiring large UAV infrastructure. This could give smaller navies access to precision strike power that was previously the domain of larger, more resource-intensive platforms. Ultimately, the unveiling of the Camcopter S-101 and S-301 illustrates how the role of unmanned aerial systems is expanding from reconnaissance toward direct combat engagement. By designing these aircraft as armed systems from the outset, Schiebel has positioned itself to compete in a sector that is likely to grow significantly in the coming years. The move demonstrates both technological ambition and a clear strategic recognition of where military demand is headed. As armed forces worldwide seek new ways to project force in contested environments, reduce risk to personnel, and counter emerging threats, drones like the S-101 and S-301 may become central elements of the next generation of military operations.